Hi everybody, it's July 18th, 2011. This is Saigon Sam, and I'm here to show you how to make your own water from air. Let me show you this. I'm just going to push this dispenser button. Buzzer sounds for some funny reason. Water comes out. Very simple. You'd think this was a normal water machine. And it is in most respects, except it's not connected to the plumbing system, nor does it take an external water input. This is in fact the High Flux Dragonfly. And I've left links in the YouTube description as to how to find one yourself. Basically, you can see the power light's on, obviously. And these are change indicators indicating when you need to change the filter cartridges inside. Numbers 1, 2, and 3. And by the way, this is based on a timer, according to High Flux. And so you could actually not need to change your filters, but it might say that you need to. Now, uh, here's the front panel. It's pretty simple. It's got a uh, dispenser here that swivels for your convenience. Uh, it's got a little uh, water collector, spillage collector there, dispense button, and the indicator lights. That's about it. And then uh, over here, there is a transparent plastic strip that shows you how full the water reservoir is inside. Now, how does this reservoir work? What is it? Well, the reservoir, if I can turn around, this thing is on the floor. It's not the easiest thing to access, but um, the reservoir is uh, a reservoir of atmospheric water that comes through these slats, these air intake slats in the metal panel on the side, um, that then hit the condensing coils, uh, and then uh, rather the, the water vapor hits the condensing coils, whereupon it drips into the reservoir. And I'll show you that in a minute. And in between the condensing coils and the air inlets here is this silk screen type thing that filters out dust. Very handy, you need to wash that once in a while. And on the top, by the way, there's a metal grill, and you can hear it. There's air flowing out here, and you can't see it because it's spinning, but there is a turbine in there. There's this rectangular area, and there is a round turbine in there that's evicting quite warm air. So this will definitely heat up your house uh, if you keep it on uh, inside. And, and if that's okay, that's fine. Otherwise, you're going to want to run it on the balcony. Uh, just don't allow it to, uh, to get rained on. Now, on the back, I'll show you inside in a minute. There is a feed water inlet here in case you want to run it off of tap water, which I definitely don't recommend because it, it does not actually perform reverse osmosis. It does, it does not actually remove heavy metal ions. Uh, it just does uh, microbiological filtration. And uh, to help with that, it actually has this UV ballast, if you can see it here, ultraviolet ballast, uh, to zap up uh, all the bacteria and, the vir uh, bacteria and viruses. Um, and then on the back, it just has a specification label. I'll just read this to you right quick. Trade name Dragonfly Model M18, 220 to 240 volts, 50 hertz, 590 to 620 watts, eats a lot of power, climate T, I assume for tropical, dimensions 700 millimeters height, 380 wide, and 410 deep. And it contains 230 grams of R134A refrigerant, which I'm sure is used for condensing the water. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, oh, one other thing on the back. Very simple. Back in the Not very exciting, but I thought I should point that out. Now, let's go ahead and open this sucker up. You can hear it turned off. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, it's kind of a diagram of how the whole thing works. Um, working backwards from the spigot, those are the white lines leading from the three filter cartridges. You can see there to the spigot. And there's a bunch of uh, basically uh, water lines leading from cartridge to cartridge in series. Uh, and then back over here to the reservoir bucket, which you can see, if I can block all this uh, reflection, you can see is uh, about half full right now. And basically, there are two straws, in uh, two white straws, into the uh, condensation bucket here, which I understand have something to do with recirculating the water, I guess to prevent mold buildup or algae buildup or whatever. I'm not quite sure about that. And then uh, you can basically see there are these uh, styrofoam type things along this this metal rod and these are used to determine the height of the water. They're, they basically constitute a, a height sensor I guess um, and you can see the middle one is floating at the height of the water so the machine knows if it's got enough water to be able to dispense or not. Now looking over top of the reservoir uh, way back in the back there you can kind of see a uh, a metal, uh, I'm sorry, a, a black plastic disc um, abutting a clear plastic disc, and that's where the water comes down from the condenser. Now the condenser itself, the condensing coils, are basically behind this, uh, this plastic uh, black panel here. 
And a high flux technician told me they're made of copper. So that does add a little bit of copper ion to your water, but what the heck, copper is a necessary nutrient. Um, and, and that's it. That's how it flows through the system. Now as I shut it, it's going to turn back on. In a moment, we can then measure the quality of the water coming out. Now, while we're waiting for it to, uh, to kind of warm back up, let me, uh, oh, we got it here, never mind. Let's go ahead then and see if we can't determine the conductivity of the water. I, uh, I've been making a mess here as I've been recording this video, getting water all over the place because I've had to do several takes, but never mind. Let's go ahead and fill our glass of water. Okay, Ugh. I've had a twist onto the floor here simply because uh, that's where I keep this thing. I guess there's a better place to put it, but never mind. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video on the HM Digital AP2 uh, water conductivity meter, uh, I suggest you watch it. So let's turn this on, have a look. Uh, looks like we're reading about, what is this, 33 microsiemens and about uh, 31.8 Celsius. So 33 microsiemens is uh, really quite good water. Um, however, the last time I did this, I got about uh, 42 microsiemens. So uh, that, that is the last time I cycled through the entire reservoir here. Um, now, why am I cycling through the entire reservoir and not drinking any? Well, because I want to evict all of the pollutant ions that may have got in from the previous user. See, I just bought this used. He might have put tap water in it or whatever, and some of that junk could have gotten dislodged during shipping as well. And so basically the first several times that you empty the reservoir, all of these kind of uh, uh, loosely bound ions and pollutants are going to leak out into your water. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see that uh, basically the conductivity of the water steadily drops as the ions and the pollutants get evicted. And so as soon as I go through two entire reservoirs uh, full of water and I get the same microsievert value out, until that happens I'm going to just continue to dispense water uh, and not drink it. Um, but basically, this is an excellent solution if you want to be off-grid in a water sense. Um, and, uh, and that's it. So have a look at the uh, YouTube description and uh, uh, see if you can find one for yourself. Till later. Bye-bye.